Um, so I don't have a problem with him coming here. In fact, had he um, come to the bargaining table with us, we maybe would have uh, had a welcoming party instead of this little rally. While Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker and Republican Congressman Sean Duffy ate dinner with around 200 of their constituents, upwards of 500 protesters held signs and chanted just two blocks away. The governor joined Congressman Duffy in his home district to attend a Lincoln Day dinner event at the stake pit. Well, we've heard they've already blocked out the windows, so, um, you know, they won't be able to really see us because they're not even going to be able to see the lake. But uh, we're just trying to get our voices heard again and, and let them know that uh, we're extremely unhappy with the methods that, uh, that uh, the, the Assembly and the Senate have used to pass this bill. Speakers at the rally, Representative Janet Bewley, Representative Nick Milroy and others generated energy from the crowd before they walked two blocks to rally along the sides and back of the restaurant. Law enforcement was on hand to keep protesters about 15 feet away from the building. Madison was any indication they could care less about all the protests and they're going to do what they're going to do no matter what. So what we're doing now is calling for a recall and we'll, we'll have to use the power of the law. Union members were not the only protesters at the event, however. Some came to show support for the governor's repair bill. I understand there's issues with people's livelihoods at stake and their pensions and everything, but um, eventually the bill comes due and it's, it's, a, it's a necessary thing for our governor to take these steps. In Washburn, Jennifer Walsh, the Northlands News Center. You and me, as I was walking. After the Capitol was closed, there was two separate classes 